I want to talk to you a little bit about how you would find a missing angle in a triangle. We know how we would find it. Let's suppose we had this angle up here at the top and we knew it was 40. In a right triangle, since those two things are complementary, we could just say 90 minus 40 and we would know this one was 50. But what if we're not given any of the other two angles? What if we know this one is a right angle but we don't know the other two? There is an inverse function on your calculator that's very helpful when you have these things. So let's suppose we were trying to find angle B. We have the pieces of the triangle for sine because we have side opposite and we have the hypotenuse. So I could use the sine feature to find that. And I know that sine B is equal to the 3 over 5. So on this calculator in the green, there is a sine with a little negative 1 on it. And it's the inverse function here. So if I hit inverse sine, the second function key in the sine, and I type in the sine of that angle, which is 3 over 5, and I hit enter, it is going to tell me the angle. Now you have to be careful. If I wanted it in degrees, I would need to make sure that it was in degrees. If I wanted it in radians, I would need to hit mode on my calculator and change it to radians. But So this one, if I were doing angles, I could say that this is roughly 37 degrees or roughly 36.9 degrees. So that would give it to me. So anytime you know those pieces of that triangle, you can use one of these, you know, sine, cosine, or tangent. If you have the pieces, you can hit the green key and one of these keys up above sine, cosine, and tangent, and it will give you the angle.